to add a domain email to your Gmail account, you would go up to the gear and click Settings and click on Accounts and Import. And you want to start with the Add a POP3 mail account that you own. So click that. Select that. Type in your email address. The username is going to be your usually your full email address, the password. And then the POP server, um, you should be provided that information from your hosting provider, or you can log in to your um, control panel in your hosting and grab that information here. So either you're provided with it or you can copy it. Um, so I'm going to copy it here and you can see that a secure SSL for a POP3 is this information. and That is what I'm going to use. But once again you should be provided all this so it doesn't look so confusing. Um, then we put that in there. I'm going to be using port 995 because right here I want it to be secure connection. Um, I like to leave messages on the server. Um, sometimes you might have to go and clean them up if you get too much, but just as kind of a backup copy. And then yes, I do want to label any of the emails coming in into this email account as um, as as the email address label. So you can tell if it's from your Gmail account or from this account. So I'm going to add the account. Okay, and then it's going to ask you, um, you can retrieve mail, but would you like to send mail as your, from your new account? Yes, you would. So next step, um, you want that name treated as an alias, yes. So just go to your next step. Now this is important. Do you want to send through Gmail? which is apparently they say it's easier to use or send through your server. I would send through your server that way your Gmail address is completely hidden nobody will even see it. So once again you're going to take the information that you were provided mail server is that I'm going to use a secure connection again and that's 465 you put your whole email address in there. Mine's long, so I'm copying and pasting it. Your password. Add account. Uh-oh, something went wrong. Maybe I have typed in my password. Make sure, oh, there was a space. So you gotta be really careful. Don't put any, maybe you shouldn't copy and paste like that, but type it in. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so they're going to send you an email with a verification code. But since you set up your email address already in Gmail, it should already actually be there. So you want to go back to your email in Gmail, go to Inbox, refresh your screen, and after a few seconds it should you should get this. So open it up and this is the code that you need. You don't even have to read all this, but copy this, open this back up again, paste the code in, and click verify. Now you can start using your new email address. Um, one thing to kind of keep in mind, you want to go back to settings, accounts and import. Um, this part is pretty important. Uh, when replying to a message, do you want to always reply from your Gmail or do you want to reply from the same address the message was sent to? Yes, so make sure that is clicked. That way when somebody is sending an email address to this email account, you reply with that account so it's not confusing to the receiver or the person sending the email. Also to say you are going to be using this Gmail account primarily for your domain uh, email address, then you want to make this your default. That way, when you start um, composing an email, it automatically pulls this up as the default. Remember, you can always switch between different accounts and who you send to by just clicking right into the front box, okay? 
Now if you go to Inbox, you'll start to see these are labeled. So you can you can tell which ones are coming to your Gmail or from this account. I like to even go one step further and lay and give the label a color. So you go down and you find out where that folder is or that label is and you highlight it, click it, and then you can choose one of these colors and I'll choose purple. So now it really stands out. And say that this is just kind of messy for you, you can always go into uh, the label here and see all the messages from that uh, email account. But all of them are actually pushed into inbox. And I really uh, suggest that if you're accessing this from your um, your mobile device that you always read your emails from the Gmail app. That way it, you can reply the same way as you do on the desktop version and you will see the labels and you'll be able to synchronize everything a lot better with Gmail um, if you do it that way.